today we are talking numbers. I'm going to tell you exactly what I paid for my 2014 Maserati Ghibli SQ4 with about 37,000 miles on it. We're going to get into the cost of the annual service for this car, the oil changes, the brakes, the tires, everything you need to know about the general ownership costs of owning a used Maserati Ghibli. And at the end of the video, we are going to pay a visit to a dealership. I'll leave you in suspense while we jump into the intro. Welcome back to Adam Drives LA. If you're new to the channel, my name is Adam and typically I'm driving the coolest cars on LA's most iconic roads. I'll usually review these cars and I'll go through the exterior, the interior, all of the features and at the end I'll tell you if I think you should buy one or not. So if you're interested in this type of content, I invite you to scroll down, hit the subscribe button, click the little bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new video which is usually once or twice a week. And without any further ado, let's get into the reason you're watching this video. That is to find out the overall ownership costs of owning a used Maserati Ghibli. We're going to start that off with the annual service. Now your oil change and your annual service should be done hand in hand because part of your annual service is an oil change. So let's get into what the annual service covers. First, they will replace your oil and your filter. Two, they are going to top off all the other fluids. That would be your brake fluid, your windshield fluid, all of that. Three, they are gonna check all of your belts because that can go bad on these cars, so they wanna make sure they're all still good. And four, they are gonna do a general look at your brakes, check your pads and your rotors, make sure those are still good. Now the annual service should be done every 12 months or every 12,000 miles, whichever comes first. Now as for the cost of the annual service, considering that your brakes are in good condition, there's no leaks and all your belts are fine, don't need to be replaced, you're still going to pay between four and $500 for the oil change at a Maserati dealership. Now the good news is pretty much every Maserati owner by now has found a good independent mechanic that can do the same annual service for around $250, which is still pretty expensive. So let's talk about why it's so expensive. So is it the oil that's expensive? No, to do the oil change at home on your own, it'll probably cost you about $75 to purchase the oil. Is it the labor that's expensive? No, it's not a difficult engine to work on. It works like every other engine. There are not a lot of parts that need to be removed for you to access the oil like some supercars. This is just like every other engine. So what makes it so expensive to do an oil change on a Maserati Ghibli? That's because of a clever little feature that Maserati installed. Now when it's time for your oil change, you don't just get a typical check engine light to telling you to go in you get this little Maserati installed wrench icon now to remove that wrench icon after the oil change not every mechanic can do it it requires a special tool that is a tool that for a very long time only Maserati dealerships had now some mechanics have it but even then it costs so much to obtain that tool that they need to recoup that cost so they overcharge between a hundred to two hundred dollars just because they're using that expensive tool to do it so no the reason you're getting ripped off at the dealership or at a independent mechanic is because of that light so if you're willing to put up with that light being in front of you forever you can get away with it for about $75 so let's talk tires now they're not necessarily expensive for this car because they're a pretty generic tire generic size for front and rear but because this is the Q4 you're gonna go through them a little bit more frequently so on the low end, you can pay as low as about $150 per tire. Once you get to the reputable brands, you're paying closer to about $2 to $250. And if you want a winter tires, they're about $400. So let's talk brakes because this is a pretty pricey one. To get all four of your pads and rotors replaced by Maserati is going to cost you about $3,000. And to do it at an independent mechanic, still going to run you about $2,000. So there's no getting away from this one. It's expensive. The only good news here is because the rotors are much more expensive than the pads, you will go through three sets of pads before you really need new rotors. Now, unless you live in a densely populated city like I do, I hope you're paying less for insurance for your Maserati Ghibli than I am. I live in Los Angeles, high population, tons of traffic, tight parking spaces. So full coverage through Mercury, I am paying about $220 a month for my Maserati Ghibli. You should probably be paying between 120 to 150, depending on where you live and depending on your driving record. Now, as for the final part of this number series on my Maserati Ghibli, we have to talk about the price I paid for this car but before we do that I did mention at the start of the video that we are gonna pay a visit to a dealership let's do that because it's gonna wrap up the point will I lose money or make money on this car 
If you have found this video beneficial to you in any way so far, do me a favor, scroll down, hit the like button. Very easy for you to do, very helpful for me. All right, so the dealership we went to is the CarMax in Burbank. We're gonna get an appraisal done on the Maserati. Let's see what they offer us just two weeks after I purchased it. All right, now that the CarMax physical inspection has started, let me step out and tell you what I paid for the car. Originally, the car was listed for $31,500. This is for a 37,000 miles, Ghibli SQ4, top of the line. Keep in mind, original price on these were about $80,000. He had up for $31,500. So I contacted them, basically through a lot of negotiating and showing them a bunch of other Maseratis that were priced lower. And I can tell this seller was kind of really motivated to sell the car earlier, so it was a time sensitive thing. So I told him, look, here's my offer. I can come there and pick it up tonight as long as it passes my general physical inspection. And that's exactly what happened. I went over there, ladies and gentlemen, I paid $25,000. $500 for this Maserati Ghibli SQ4 that still looks brand new. It smells brand new. The interior is good. Everything to me is exactly what I was looking for at an unbelievable price. So let's go inside and see what CarMax has to offer me just two weeks after my $25,500 purchase. All right, the appraisal is done. The offer is in my hands. Let's see what CarMax thinks my 2014 Maserati Ghibli SQ4 with 37,000 miles is worth today. <laughs> All right, we need to talk about why CarMax thinks my Maserati is worth as much as a very nice sofa. So a couple of years ago, this particular car was involved in a fender bender. It was not an accident. The car was parked in a parking lot and somebody backing up did not see it, bumped the front, so the front bumper had to be replaced. Now, when you run the VIN, it shows up that there was damage. It is absolutely a clean title car. It's not salvaged, none of that, but it does show up that there was damage reported. Now, because of CarMax's policy, they cannot sell a car like this on their showroom lot. They have to rely on auctioning the car therefore they want to protect themselves make sure they can at least take some kind of a profit on this car even if it sells for bottom dollar at an auction that is the only reason they offered sixteen thousand dollars so i obviously was not planning on relying on a retailer like carmax carvana or any of them to sell this car i will eventually sell it to somebody who's just looking for the right maserati at the right price for them just like how i found it and with all that said, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up yet another video. If you enjoyed this video or if it was beneficial to you in any way, I invite you to scroll down, subscribe to the channel as I'm going to continue to make these videos of the ownership experience of owning a used Maserati Ghibli and I will continue to do my weekly car reviews. So until next time, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next car.